Hey, welcome to my page. If you're new to the group, let me know you're here. Let me know you're new so I can say hi to you. If you've been here for a while, you know what we do. Sprinkle the love, guys. It means S-H-A-R-E. Um, today we're going to be thinking a lot about spring. I've got some, uh, some pots here from the Dollar Tree. These, these are the mini ones that come three in a pack. <clears throat> and then I've got two of the larger ones I'm going to do. So, let's get started, guys. How are we going to think about spring when we woke up to an inch of snow and 19 degrees? I know. Look, I'm wishing for it. I'm wishing for it. Yeah, we woke up to snow this morning, and I was not happy. It was cold. I'm still going for spring. If I keep thinking it, it will happen. We know this, right? All right, I'm going to get painting uh, so it has time to dry. Let's see. I've got Scallion Chalk Paint by well Waverly. And they've got these little tiny bottles here uh, for like a $1.67 or something like that. Which are super cute. I haven't used this color before, so this one's a little bit new to me. And it seems to be a little more springy. I'm hoping I like it. Hold on one second. Let me get my... Here. And now it's all over my nails. As usual. There we go. How's everybody doing today? Did any of you guys get any snow? We're in Michigan, so um, we've gotten snow into June before. So, well, we, where we live, we've gotten it into June, which isn't a fun thing. And we've got we've had lots of puppies going home and lots of stuff going on around here. It's getting quieter little by little. If you guys have been here a while, you know we got puppies and they're always crying or something, so. But they're starting to settle down now and hopefully it won't be too long before we can have a normal house back. Well, this is kind of normal for us, but not normal for you guys. But this is very normal for us. Yep. I'm just putting a light coat on this. I'm not going real heavy. Um, I want it to dry pretty quickly and Waverly dries really quick anyway and I don't even care if I'm really covering it all because I'm I'm gonna put some do something on top of this so I don't really care if it covers completely I'm really hard not to get paint on me tonight. You guys, I, I am terrible. I'm such a sloppy painter. Okay, we'll ask the sun not to shine. <laughs> he is so right. Brittany's here. Hi, Brittany Head. I, I, get out of there. I got a cat trying to steal my raffia, you guys. He loves raffia. He loves to eat it. He thinks it's like grass. And it is like grass, but not for him. I'm just going to go around the lip of this, too. Okay, that one's done. This craft hopefully won't take very long tonight. The last couple of nights I've been doing a kind of long crafts. And I apologize, but... I I get so into them and I don't realize how long it's going. So, sorry guys. How you doing, Brittany? Oh, we lost her. Oh, uh, we did? Yep. Maybe she blinked out or something. Yeah. Or, or it's Facebook giving us our fun time again. Oh, we've been having problems with Facebook, you guys. And I know everybody has. Um, dang. Either we can't see your comments, or you guys can't see our comments. Um, so we'll see how it goes tonight. We've been trying to get a hold of um, Dish. I mean, not Dish. Uh, <laughs> dish. What am I thinking of, honey? Facebook? No, that. Oh, internet. the internet? Yeah, yeah, I've been trying all day. We've been blinking out. What, yep. a, what a day for me. 
Oh, he's been working hard today trying to keep our internet going. And, um, it's not been fun. And I missed my orientation, too. Yep, he had his orientation today. He missed that because of it. And hopefully they understand. Um, <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn my volume down, I guys. Thought I, I thought I took care of that. Yeah, usually Neil does it, and I double-check, and I neither have. one of us did it today. Well, I got them all but that one. Okay, this one's done. I'll put that in some water, honey. Mm -hmm. This is my husband, Neil. Everybody say hi to Neil. Everybody say hi to Neil. <laughs> Hold on, I got paint. And I don't want it to shit. I need a baby wipe. You do? Yes, I do. Got it all over my, uh, my pad here. Okay. And on the table. I am so messy. Oh, I'm making barbecue chicken tonight. Barbecue. So that's what you guys are hearing. We're only going to use two of these packs. Um, this is a tissue paper from Dollar Tree. It's got the blue, and this is like a teal colored. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's kind of silvery and teal at the same time. But it, it's more green if you take it away from the blue that's behind it. So that's what I like it for. It's got that kind of blue. Hold on, let me get my paint off my fingers. I don't want to get it all over this one. We do have someone coming. Uh, they're supposed to be here before 8 to pick up a puppy tonight. And they weren't here, so Neil may have to run out in the middle of everything. Um, to go deal with my puppy customer for me because people don't know how to stay true to what they say they're going to do. Hopefully she's just not even here till 9. Alright, I'm only going to do this in sections um, so that it doesn't wrinkle and get a lot of bubbles in it. So I'm going to kind of go at this slowly. I'm going to start, see where this edge is? where the flowers cut off at the top. I'm going to actually use that to my advantage here. And just place it right, just like that. With that edge right at the corner. Lots of traffic going down our road tonight. We usually don't have a lot of traffic. If it starts to wrinkle on you guys or you get a bubble, just pick it up. And that's why you do a real light coat of your... Uh, Mod Podge right now because you might have to pick it up and rearrange it a little bit. And that's exactly why I'm doing it in small sections. Especially when you're doing something round. It tends to want to bubble up on you. So I'm just going to work it with my fingers. <laughs> I like working with tissue paper a lot more than I do um, napkins. I don't know, I like them both actually, but tissue paper just seems to be a little bit thicker. Yeah. <laughs> I've got St. Bernard's trying to play over here. They are really trying to play. Get it up underneath this lip. Pretty good. I'm going to cut this off right here because it's going on an angle on me. And just lay the paper down. So Becky Staples has joined us. Hi, Becky. How are you? Are you new to the group? I think she is. I would have remembered Staples. Yeah. All right, I'm going to run 
to say. How are you doing with uh, staying in the house? Are you keeping busy? Oh, Terry's here. Hey, Terry. There you are. There she is. We missed you last night. Did you do that? I did that. I ripped it a little bit. Last night's uh, craft went so long. Emily Gustafson. Gustafson. That's a tough one. Gustafson. Yeah, Gustafson. Yeah. I had a math teacher. In junior high, oh, I'm named Gustafson. Right, I'm going to cut this again because it's going wonky again. And Terry says, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We are doing spring tonight. All because winter had to give his last twist of the knife to us. Yeah, we woke up to snow this morning, and I was like, no, 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 no. But it is what it is, I guess. It does that. It usually does that at the end of March. And that was really cruel. But we've had, I just said, we've had uh, snow into June here, so yeah, nothing surprises us. Yeah, we had that real late spring that one year that just wouldn't get here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. And oh. Well, all the way into June, we were like, oh my goodness, no. Yeah, yeah we didn't stop burning wood until, uh, what, end of May. Yep. I couldn't believe it. And then when we put everything away for the year, it got us. Yeah. So now we, we don't put anything away till June. And you don't plant. Yep, and I don't plant until June. Yeah. Well, actually, late May I start to plant, but yeah, I'm very cautious bunch. about it. Yeah, you lost a whole bunch that one year. Yep. You couldn't wait to get out there, and bam. It got me. Can you guys see me? I'm pulling towards me again. I get mad when I do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Terry says, did you come on a little late than usual last night? I looked for you. Um, I don't think I did. No, I think we were right around 8 o'clock. Yeah, right around 8 o'clock. And we went until 9.30, I think. The, the uh, comments and people showing up was really wonky. Yeah, people were there, but we couldn't see them. Um, well, we could see them, but nobody else could. Yeah. And in the playback, it was doing the same thing. Yeah. People were saying they were doing hearts and stuff, and uh, nothing was showing up. And it was just like, wow. I don't know what what is going on. Okay, I'm going to let this, this one dry and work on this one. Oh my God. We're using this tissue paper paper from Dollar Tree and it's got like a greenish tint to it. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. And um, I know you can see it, but I, when I go and watch a replay, yeah. I can't see it. Hmm. And I'm like, wow, I don't know why certain things like, and you'll say, yeah, we can see it. And I go look and can't see it. Terry says the internet has been crazy with the high traffic, which I is know. true. It's been so crazy. Yeah. We can't even log into one of our um, applications right now. Yeah, our money is stuck. Yeah. We can't even get a, get a hold of it. Yep, yeah. it's stuck. And I've been trying to order shots for my puppies all day. Oh, my gosh. i got puppies going home, and they have to have their shots before they can leave. I only have two shots left. Um, and if I ordered today, I would have got them in time because they come two days. Uh, they're really good about fast shipping yep, with that. They are. But I got puppies <laughs> going home um, in two days, and I couldn't order them today. So now I have to reschedule everybody and tell them I can't do shots. And, of course, they're going to say, we don't care about the shots. We'll take them. No, no. No, doesn't happen. 
Because oh we've done that in the past, and yeah. then the puppy gets parvo, and they want to blame me for it, even though they've told me they don't want the shot. So I don't ever do that again. But I digress. Yeah. I'm just... Um, I really want them to be able to go home when I tell them that they can have them. Because no one wants to hear that they're getting a puppy and they tell their kids and then they can't get it. Janet Phelps has joined us then. Hi Janet, how are you? I hope these turn out cute. I, you know, I always say this, in my mind they turn out cute, but when you do them, doesn't mean they're always going to turn out cute. That, that is a kind of a teal color, isn't it? Yeah. With the blue yeah, and the green. Cross kind of between a, blue and green. Yeah. Will you grab me that um, no. birdhouse I did last night, please? No. It's in that back area. Yeah. Uh -huh. I want to show that you. That narrows it down. Where I just put this stuff on the um, thingy today. Oh, okay. Today. I was read. Um, <laughs> I was trying to clean my craft room. And Neil moved out of my craft room, so I'm trying to rearrange stuff. And so when I tell Neil it's over there where I put stuff, well, that doesn't doesn't really work. Because I put stuff everywhere today. I'm trying to line up where I left off at. It was just going a little wonky on me. Anytime you do something in a circle, like round, your paper wants to go all crazy. I mean, really hard not to get bubbles in here. Make sure you push it up under the slip here, guys. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, I have to kill you now. Why? You know how tightly you pack this in? Yes, I know. Sorry. I wanted to show Terry. Um, this was the craft I did last night. And you wouldn't think it would have taken so long, but it did. And we, it was a um, leftover Christmas birdhouse. And we put a tin roof on it and stuff. Can you see it? Am I too far away? Yeah, up a little bit. Up a little bit. There you go. There it is. So this is what we made last night. And I think it turned out really yeah. stinking cute. Stand it up, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it here. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Well, this is my kitty, Loki. Mm hmm Crafting with kitties. Don't mind me. Yep. Pardon me, excuse me. Man. Yeah, he's just going to jump right through. <laughs> he's trying to find a way to get in my lap. This kitty loves me to death. And he is always in my lap. I'm just ripping this so I can get it off before I seal this Janine up. Atkins has uh, joined us. Hey, Janine. How are you? Where are you from? Terry, can you see any comments, or is it just us that can see them again? She, she, uh, she says, uh, cute, love the birdhouses. Oh, yay, thanks. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I have a whole bunch of them, they were only a quarter. But I haven't figured out what I want to do with them yet. And one of the themes in our house is birdhouses. I have a ton of birdhouses, because I have birds. Um, there's some that I give to my birds, and then others I just decorate. So, I'm just going around this with a, a coat to seal it. Just do it gently, um, because the paper will rip. And I'm just looking for any big wrinkles so I can just push them down. I'm trying to bend my paper where I combined it. Terry says, I only see my own comments, which I don't understand either. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. We, we, neither one of us do. And other people can't see your comments either. Well, that's what last night they said. We could see their comments, but uh, no one else could. And they weren't able to see anybody else's comments. But the little wave thing showed up. The little hand, and you get to pop that when people say, Hi. Who's watching? Yeah. 
so like they're there. I'm just cutting off a majority of that and I'm going to let it. Okay, we're done with that. These should be dry over here. All right, let me get these. Off. You make the best broccoli potato chips in the world. I was cooking broccoli earlier, and I just had it in some butter on the um, on the stove, and I forgot about it, and so it turned into broccoli potato chips. And Neil is eating them, and he loves them. He's like, these are so good. Like, okay, go ahead and eat them. But I'm cooking some more right now. So, oh, I'll add those. Oh, they're good. Thanks. I just Sorry. turned them off for you. Oh, did you? Thank yep. you. I'm, I'm constantly fish, trying to cook dinner at the same time while I'm crafting. I'm using a uh, Waverly White uh, chalk paint. And you can get these at Walmart, Amazon, uh, Hobby Lobby. They're kind of everywhere. Oh, I need another one, honey. Another brush, please. Another brush? Yeah. I have one right there, a red one. Yep. I brought one out, but I left it too far away from me. That color turned out pretty, didn't it? Yeah. This is the scallion color in the chalk paint. Turned out really pretty. I'm just going to kind of dry brush this, guys. I'm not I'm not going to put a whole lot. I'm just going to wipe off a lot. And I just want to kind of go over it. Just to tone it down a little bit. Oops, that was a lot. If you do something like that and you just can't stand it, just go over it with your uh, with your paint, your green paint again. That's all. I like a more rustic look, and that's the reason I'm doing this is just to give it kind of a more aged look. And you can do as much or as little as you want. Jerry couldn't see us last night. Hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Dang, I don't know what is going on with the, the internet. I know a lot of people are on, and a lot of people are checking for their checks. My mom got hers today, you know, from the government, the um, stimulus checks. My mom got hers today. And so, and when Neil called about our... Um, card, they were saying that there's an, a high volume going on because of the stimulus checks and all that. I don't like how these are coming out, so I'm going to fix those over here in a minute. Got just a little bit too much paint going on. Is there a method, does that method have a name? It's just dry brushing. Dry brushing. Yeah, I'm just going to dry brush it. Um, most people know what dry brushing is, I think. Um, if not, can you give me another brush, honey? <laughs> I just got to fix this. I'm running him, you guys. Got to keep him busy. Mm -mm, my back hurts. Yeah, he's wore out. He ran back and forth from one house to the other, our other house today, trying to set up his, um, uh, for his job. He got his new computer from his job, right? And, uh, see, I'm just fixing these, and you can just go dry brush right over it. Just like you're doing with the white, just go dry brush over it with this, and it will fix it for you. Um, so he... When he got his computer to, uh, and he got it all hooked up today, the mouse wouldn't work and the, what else? Keyboard. The keyboard yeah. wouldn't work. And then our internet going to the other house, um, <laughs> we have it run underground with the electrical going over to the other house and that wouldn't work. So he now has rigged it to where he put a cooler on the top of my picnic table out there and um, he's got our router inside that 
so it doesn't get wet. And he's got that tape down, or uh, um, screwed down to the table, mm -hmm. so our dogs don't get it. Or a bear or something, because they will. Yep, and the top is taped down. Yep, everything's taped down. But we, we, for some reason, we can't get any reception over there right now. And he spent all day trying to fix that. Yeah, I'm going to get have to get a new line. You are? Uh, yep, I need a new 300-foot land cable. Oh, boy. Yep. So, and there it is. Yep. Working yesterday. Oh, no. Over there it was? Yeah, of course I tested it. Well, maybe it's just the thing that's going on with the internet today. It, it, um, it, I'm not sure if it is or isn't, but I can't risk it. I gotta, I gotta have good connection. Sorry, guys. I gotta go a little bit in places. I'd just rather rerun it. A little bit extra in places I don't want. It. Yeah, we get solid. As I go. Yep. So since since I had to wait for the internet to fix, I thought I'd work on my office a little bit. And, uh, He's tired tonight, yeah. nonetheless. He is tuckered. We've had a busy week, just in general. We've just been it's only one taking butt around here. Mm -hmm. And I already know, tonight's Survivor Night. I don't know if you guys watch Survivor, but I do. We do. We love it. Mm -hmm. And I already know he's going to eat his dinner, fall asleep trying to watch Survivor with food in his mouth. Oh, Which, stop. <laughs> he will, you watch. He does it all the time. And I have to check his mouth and say, show me your mouth. Did you fall asleep eating? He did it one time with Jesus and scared the bejesus out of me. But we have long days around here, especially in the summer. We have really long days around yeah, here. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get more active. So this is what we have. Once this uh, green dries, it won't be, it won't look so weird. Just like that. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. So, I think I'm done with these, but I'm going to wait before I ask him for another one. And the dry brushing dries really, really fast. Um, what am I doing here? Oh, I want to put the movies out of the way. I might have to fix these. I don't know yet. Let me glue these together before I get going. Don't you fall. Right there. Can I have a new rake? Oh, yes. I need a new hard rake. You mean me? I use them more than you do. I know, but I need it. And I'm just putting hot glue right along the edge there. Right on the outer rim, but I don't want to put too much. I don't want it seeping through. Just like that. I'm just going to let that dry. Just for a second. What did I do with my... Uh, uh -huh, over there. I'm really trying to keep this mat clean. I Last one I had, I messed it all up. So this one, I'm trying to keep it clean. isn't working so well. Let me get this paint off. So Terry says dry brushing seems to be an option to using Vaseline. Am I right? Question yes. Mark. yes. Well, Vaseline, like, um, takes off chunks. Like, you can put it on really, really lightly, too. But with dry brushing, you have more control, I guess. Where is my... Let me think about what I'm doing here, guys. Okay, so I'm going to put this around here, but I'm going to fold it in half. So I don't want it to be too big. Let me just measure here a little bit. I think that's good. And I'm just going to fold this in half and glue it together. Just like that. This uh, is wired ribbon from Dollar Tree. This is one of my favorite ribbons. I love this one. 
And if you guys can't get to Dollar Tree, um, because nobody's supposed to be out right now, if you have burlap, just take one of those little round dabbers, uh, paint dabbers, and put some white paint on it and make your own. I've had to do that many times when I don't have any uh, polka dotted ribbon, especially like yellow. When I use a lot of yellow ribbon and I don't have the polka dots, I'll just make my own. So Terry says, uh, Facebook just popped up saying, instantly send this as a message to Southern Comfort with Debbie DYI and talk to them directly. It did, huh? Uh, did that say that to you, Terry? Or I didn't see it. Is it like to say something's wrong or just to say hi? I missed it. I didn't see it. I've seen um, on some that it pops up and says, you know, say hi here, but I haven't seen it, heard that. Hmm. I'm just putting some hot glue just in random places just to make sure it stays in place. Can you see what I'm doing here? Maybe. It's on her laptop. Okay, yeah, I'm using a phone. Doesn't make sense to her. Okay. So maybe... Maybe because, that's what's going on. Uh, maybe because she's in the room, they sent her a message to tell us. Right here, at the back, oh, I have a little bit right. left over, so I'm just going to cut that off. Come on, you. Wow, oh, what happened to my scissors here? Here we go. These scissors are usually work really well. Okay, so now we have that. And I'm just going to make a little bow here out of some rock, yeah? That's weird. Yeah, I've never heard of that at all. Me either. All kinds of new stuff, huh? Yeah. Well... Okay, yeah, I guess we'll take it one catastrophe at a time. Yeah. <coughs> it's just strange. So I'm, I'm just making this ribbon here, and all I did was fold it in half a couple of times. I think I did three times on this. And then the ends here... I just wrapped them one around one way and one around the other way. So that when I glue it, it'll all stay in place. Possibly. Let me see. I'm going to go on the front where my ribbon is done in the back. I'm going to go in the front here and make sure I have that in the back. Terry, I made some really, really cute flowers today. Um, I found this uh, material that I bought from Walmart about a month ago, and it was somewhere in my craft room. I'm just, now that, see what I'm doing, I'm just going to cut these, all these ends here. So that way you have a nice little bow. Let me see if that's too wide. Terry says you're the queen of embellishing. I love to embellish. Oh my gosh. I really do. Let me show her these, these flowers I made. They are so adorable. So I took a, um, the back of the Mountain Dew box, or side of it, and I made these flowers. Look at how cute they turned out. I'm going to make these in a few days, so I'll just show you. But, um, I was just messing around today while I was watching one of my shows. So cute. And so easy to do. Okay, I got that one done. So let me put my flowers in this one. She sends hearts. Ooh, yay. I'm going to do that one in a couple of days. So I'm just, this is a flower foam from Dollar Tree. And you, I'm not even going to glue it in. That way if I want to switch out my flowers, I can. And the ones I want to put in here, 
Are these? Or do I want to do these? Hmm. I think I want to do these in there. Um, where's my wire cutters, guys? Hold on, I gotta find my wire cutters. What did I do? Try these. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut these with wire cutters. Whoa. What dog is doing that? I don't know. It sounds like the puppies knocked over that thing. Oh, the little blockade? Yeah. Yeah. One of our uh, St. Bernard puppies keeps... I don't know how he's getting out of the pen. He, um... There's... The bars are way too small for him to get through. But I think he's, like, um... Stretching out real long wise so his body gets real thin. And then he comes out that way. He's mousing through. Yeah. So we put up a little blockade. Hoping that... And it sounds like he just knocked it over. Yeah. Little well, smart one. I thought it was heavier than him. Did you get the picture of the puppy? I did. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I have it uh, ready to go. Are we ever getting in a customer? Or? I don't know. Maybe she's going to come after. Because I told her I'd start right at 8 o'clock and that I would not deal with her if she got here during that time. So, who knows? We'll see. Okay. Okay. So, now I just cut all these off. And I'm just going to put them in, just like so. This is lavender, by the way. I believe I got these at Walmart. And I believe they were 99 cents. Uh-oh, hang on, I might need another one. Hold on, let me go get another one. Oh, Lord. I Are bought you? like eight of them, or ten of them. Good thing. Yeah. Well, they're one of my favorites. There we go. I've been trying to do a lot of things with different heights because I, um... Uh, Got uh, tables around that some need things that are taller, some need things that are shorter. So I'm just trying to. I like the ideas of having. Oh, these ones don't work at all. You know, where's my other wire cutters? Oh, I'll get them. I've got these small ones here, but I don't know if they right. cut or not. Oh, you took them over there? Yeah, no, no. Oh, he used them earlier. I'm gonna say. Oh, these ones are working a little bit better. Oh, I like these ones better. We can keep those other ones. Okay. I want it to go straight up and down. No, I'm an angle. I needed them for internet work. These uh, orange ones here actually work a little bit better. Brittany says it looks nice so far. Ooh, thank you. Here's these. I didn't know Brittany was back. I didn't we either. lost you for a minute, Brittany. Yeah. Here. Let me just pull these forward a little bit. And that's that one. Now I was going back and forth. Let me show you the other one I wanted to do. Um, just so you can see the difference. the other one um, that I wanted to do and this was from Walmart also and I think these were two dollars for the little pansies but this is what I was thinking too so I think it would be pretty with both which one do you guys like better if you like the lavender better give me hearts and if you like 
the pansies better. Thumbs up. I had a hard time deciding. I kept going back and forth going, oh, I don't know which one I want. I'm definitely using these in this other one. And I thought this other one would look really cute with just some round balls. Um, and these are from Easter. But if you wanted to, you could paint them whatever color you wanted. I just like the, the idea of having the, the balls, you know. Okay, let me... This is pretty dry. Let me cut these off here. I told him to take my glue paintbrush away too soon, but it's still kind of wet, so I can still... So hearts is coming up. Okay, so they like the lavender better? And Terry says, I like the colors of the pansies. Yeah, see, it was so hard for me to make a decision. Ultimately, I had to um, go with these because the area I want to put them in, there was something in the way that I couldn't go shorter with the uh, pansies. So I was like, oh, man. So I might do some more of these. I don't know. I might do another one and use use the pansies because I thought they were really, really stinking cute. All I'm doing here, guys, is just cutting this off as close as I can get it. And I already threw my uh, paint my paintbrush in the water for my glue. So what you would do is take your glue and just kind of smooth it out around the bottom here, which I'm going to do later. My brush is already wet. Terry says she needs to do an entire home makeover. Ooh, that's so much fun. Oh my gosh. If you have any ideas you want me to do, let me know and I'll do them for you and uh, you can see how they look before you do them. And that way, if you can say yay or nay, you know. Because I'd love to hear your guys' ideas too. That way I don't always have to come up with the ideas. Even though I'm decorating my own home right now too, so. But there's times when you just get like blocked. Or I do. You know, you get blocked for a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna. Now see where these connected back here? There's like a little lump, you know, and you can tell where they're connected. So I'm gonna make sure I line these up just like that. So that it doesn't show up in the front. Terry says she loves this one and anything bird related. Yes. But you know that. Yes, I do. I love my bird related ones too. And I don't think any other crafters um, do as much bird stuff as I do. Oh, hang on. I lost it, guys. Because they don't own birds, you know, and I do own birds. So. Just like so. Just gonna let that set up for a minute. Let me get rid of this garbage right here. here. I don't know how to make a mess. Okay. So now that we have that, got this little one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to trim this one down.
Again, I'm not going to glue this one in, but you could totally put some glue on the end of this and glue it right in if you want to. Um, I'm Normally I would, but I'm not because I'm probably going to reuse these for um, different seasons. And I'm going to leave them just the way they are. Let me see how long I want these. I got you the red handle. Oh, thank you. These ones work really good. I'm going to make some of these a little bit taller and some a little bit shorter. And I'm even going to use the um, leaves on these because they're just sparkly and pretty. sure how many of the leaves you're going to see on these, so we'll have to see. But I like, I like the sparkliness of them. See, now that it's on there, it looked green, and now that I have the green in here, it looks blue. You guys like these? I have a bunch of them in pink, purple, blue, yellow. Um, and like I said, they're for Easter, but I wanted to do like just a little odd bou bouquet of round, you know? Just, you don't find very many round things. So I, I thought these were really cute. And you could paint these red and have just like a, or a burgundy color, that would be pretty. Or, um, Really, all kinds of colors. I'm going to take this out for a minute because I'm going to do my uh, my rock hair around here. And this one, I'm going to do a little raffia bow. Let's see. Let me I use. My cats love this. They eat it instead of grass. They're inside cats, so they don't get a lot of grass. So they think my raffia is their grass. And they will try to get in my craft room any chance I get to get Wreak at my, havoc. Yeah. To eat it. And then they throw it up because it, it's not good for them. It's not real. Yeah. Not real. It's not good for them. Puppies be playing. Oh, my God. I'm trying to just make a little bow here the best I can. I'm just wrapping it around the center a couple good times. We have our female kitties in a um, pen right now, so a couple of them are in heat. And we are not into having any more kittens. Our kittens all went to their new home yesterday. And that's probably Mama Kitty I'm hearing looking for her babies. She has been crying for them for ever since I went home yesterday. So let me see. Terry says, Monday I found some type of natural round thingy and brought it inside, thinking I would try to preserve it somehow. Next day I noticed it shriveled a little. Picked no. it up and poof, yellow pollen sprayed out. Oh no. No idea what the heck it was. Really? Wow. I'm trying to think it. I don't know what kind of plants you guys have there. Doesn't sound like anything here. Brittany says, yes, I like it a lot. Okay. Thank you, honey. So I'm just going to do this. Now all we have is just this little bow. And I'm going to try and get it the right size for this. I don't know if I like that. Nope, don't like that. Hold on. Should we 
back around it. Hold on. I need to figure out what I'm going to do here. She says it's about the size of those balls you were using. Really? Yeah. What color were they when you brought them in? Did she say? I missed it. Yeah. Oh, it only, she only mentioned yellow when it went poof. Okay. Because we have like the white ones here that you blow and like, they're dandelion uh, heads. And as soon as you blow them, they, they uh, spread the seeds for the dandelions. She said it was brown when she picked it up. Hmm. And we, we pick our dandelion greens and we eat them in our salads. So I don't mind the dandelions, but a lot of people, you know, think they're a weed and they don't like them. And, and I, we like them. I don't like them taking over my grass or anything, but I, I don't discourage them. Okay, so now we just have this little bow. Little tiny little bow. And then we have that. <laughs> Instant flour. You guys like these ones? I have some purple ones. But see, these aren't going to be together. They're going to be separate from each other. So, and I was going to paint this hot. This, this yellow for spring, but I didn't know if it would go together enough, and I was going to, you know, calm it down with some white, because that's a loud yellow, but I don't know, I, I wanted to try this tissue paper, and I like it, I think it's really pretty. Do you guys like these? Fifty-three minutes. Oh, well, about normal then. Seems like it went a lot quicker. Ta-da! Ta-da! Brittany says, yes, I love it. Oh, yay, thank you. All right, guys, we're going to go eat our dinner. Um, you guys have a great night, and we'll see you back tomorrow at 8. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.